Okay, let's talk inverses. If your data looks something like this, where as your x variable gets larger, your y value is getting smaller. If your y value is getting smaller but never going smaller than or below the x-axis, then you may well be talking about an inverse function. An inverse function looks something like this, where you have something like y equals a constant divided by x, y equals a constant divided by x squared or x cubed or square root of x, anything like that falls under the category of inverse functions. And we can summarize what those look like. They have the, the general form y equals a constant divided by x raised to an exponent. Let's take a quick look at what those look like in Fathom. Okay, so I've set this up in Fathom. We have y equals a constant divided by x to the n. I've set n to be 1 right now, so we just have a constant divided by x. Let's take a quick look to see what the constant does. I'm going to shift that so you can see it. Okay, and putting that back, let's take a quick look to see what the exponent does. So I'm going to move it from being x to the first to being x to the second and then x to the third, skipping the values in between. So often in physics we end up with uh, nice exponents. So here it is in the first power. Watch what happens as we move it to the second and to the third. You can almost see that it looks like it tilts the function and now down to 0.5, so now this is a constant divided by square root of x. And we could even do y equals constant divided by the cube root of x. You can see how that's changed. I'm just going to shift those one more time so you can see that shift. Okay, so when you're considering your data and you see that it's trending downward, it may well fall in this general category. And as I mentioned before, this would be, need to be for data that appears that it does not cross the x-axis. And the function itself does not cross the y-axis either. Take a look at that. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope this was a help.